Good morning, guys. It's John. Welcome back to KC Farms. We're on day two of our butchering this week. Yesterday, Jamie and I were able to work and get 25 birds processed. Took us a while. Jamie has started a new job, so be praying for her. Um, so I was out butchering. After she was finished, we started piecing and packaging. Um, today is day two of that. Uh, so I am out here at our tractors. We got to get 25 more birds out. Normally I'll bring them up the night before and have them ready. Um, but we didn't finish till around 11 o'clock last night and I didn't get them moved. So we got our tote on the back of the cart. We have not fed these birds yet. We're going to grab 25 of them, move them up to our processing area and get ready of day two of processing. Um, not just going to be doing that. We got mamas due this week. We're going to go check out those mamas, run around this afternoon a little bit in between processing and show you what's been going on. So stay tuned. Let's get started. <laughs> There's our 25 for the day. Guys, these just turned eight weeks today and all the ones yesterday we did were dressing out at five plus pounds. Um, most of them we pieced up, but we did do about eight or nine whole birds. Uh, so very happy with how big and how nice they're turning out at just eight weeks old. So we're gonna get the rest of this area set up. Um, we got our cones, we're gonna set up our tent, get our tables plucker moved everything moves each day we don't keep it in the same spot that's where it was yesterday we'll move it a little forward we'll get this set up and uh we'll get going let's go all right guys we are all set up yesterday was overcast we didn't need the tents today we need the tents for some shade um got all of our stuff ready i've switched it up a little bit which makes it a lot easier when you're processing by yourself or with somebody um i used to just process four birds at a time and I'd scald them and pluck them then process them and then put them in a cooler. I've got my cooler up there. But uh, when you're doing it by yourself or with somebody, do like, I've got 25 birds, so I'm gonna do 13 and 12. So I'll do 13 birds, get them processed, plucked, and I'll leave them in a chill cooler. Once I get all 13 done, then I'll start processing them. And it just goes a lot faster. Little tip there especially if you're by yourself um, on getting it done quickly. So we're not gonna show a whole lot of this. So if you're a little squeamish, uh, you don't have to worry about that. I do have a video on how to process chickens. I will put that right here. That was a couple years ago. Um, still got some good tips in it though. It's basically the same thing. So we're gonna get these birds processed. It's just after eight o'clock. Let's see how long it, gets, it takes us to get these 25 birds into the cooler. Then we'll go check out some pig mamas and see who's due. All right, guys, 1023. We are finished with our 25 birds. Um, before, when we first started, man, we wasted a lot. Um, if you don't really have a market, it's hard to, but we save the hearts, the necks, the livers, the gizzard, the feet. So there is very little waste to this bird. We also do soup backs. So basically, you've got some skin and you've got the rib cage left over. but. We are done for today. I'm heating up some water. Um, I need to uh, get the skin off of the feet. Uh, a lot of people use the feet for dog treats uh, and the skin is not good to have on there. Um, got markets coming up. Um, we switched this year. We used to use these and take ice packs and the coolers and that was not very easy. So I'm gonna show you our little trailer setup that we haul our chicken with. Uh, I've got a light up here. We've got some outlets. My Uncle Ken helped and set this trailer up. Here's our pork freezer. 
This one over here is our chicken freezer. Um, so nice to have. We just have the trailer down, our tent up, and we are stocked full of chicken and pork. So super nice to have at the market. Easy, let me turn this light off. Easy to get our product there and back. We do run a generator at one of our markets. The other market has electricity. We bring it home and we just plug our trailer in and it works out great. So while that water's heating up, um, I'm gonna take you back and show you these mamas who are due this week. Uh, plans are to process again tomorrow morning, but that could all change if we start to have piglets. Uh, we'll run back here really quick though. After that, I'm gonna piece up. Won't drag you through all that process, but let's get back here and check out these mamas. Okay. Jamie said that Delilah is due first. And then I think Chloe's the next day after Delilah. <coughs> Excuse me. And she is starting to get firm. You can see that milk line right there. Um, I think her due date's tomorrow. I'm just seeing if we can express any milk yet. Nothing yet. But it won't be long. So we're thinking Delilah's going to be first. What do you think, Delilah? You getting pretty uncomfortable? Yeah. It won't be long. It's kind of nice and cool in here. A um, little bit of breeze, not too hot. It's only supposed to be about 75 today. So perfect for uh, having some piglets. Here's Marge. Let's check out Marge. Hey, Marge. What you doing? Can I leave that door open? I doubt you're going to run anywhere. What you got all that mud on your face for? Huh? So I think Marge is maybe this weekend, maybe Friday. Ooh, got that yucky tongue, Marge. But same thing. Back here, you can feel piglets kicking. So you know it's getting close. Oh, I didn't shut your door. You're gonna fall right out of here. Her milk line is not quite as deep yet, but it's getting close. Got a lot of questions. Where do you feel the piglets? Usually right in this area is the best place to feel them kicking. There it is. <laughs> Was that an uncomfortable kick, March? So. Not quite yet, not today, but it should be a day or two and we will have more piglets running around. I might be able to butcher tomorrow. Remember from the previous videos, if you can express milk, there's about 24 hours before, hey Chloe, before there's piglets. You gonna let me see that belly? Oh my goodness. Yeah, same thing. I think, uh, I definitely think it's going to be Delilah first. And then probably uh, Large Marge. And then Chloe will finish up our summer litters. So just wanted to show you these girls. Let you know we've got more piglet videos coming soon. Got to get butchering done. Like I said, those birds are eight weeks old. We've got 150 of them trying to do 75 this week and then wrap up the remaining birds next week. But that's my plan. You know, the farm has plans of its own. So we'll see if that happens or not. Before I leave you, let's run down here. Last video, we moved all these young piglets over here. We've had a few go to new homes and the rest are down here having a pool party. Pretty sure the kids were just out here playing with them while I was processing birds. Maybe one day they'll be able to help me process and it'll go faster. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm not going to ever make them do that. It's not the most fun job on the farm, but definitely worth it when you see some of these people. They send us pictures of the chicken they've had and let us know it's the best chicken they've ever had. and 
tell us they are going to be lifetime customers that makes all the difference in the world like i said not the best job probably the worst job on the farm but that's what they're there for and they are delicious so we enjoy providing that meat for our customers but here we are down here having a summer pool party which i'm surprised a lot of, a lot of times these pigs will just lay out in the sun and not use the shade so i'm glad they're using the shade the kids filled up pools and water bowls so it looks like there is enough for everybody how are you guys doing looks like everyone's getting along now and they are warming up if you guys remember when we moved them over here they were a little sketchy and some of them still are but this is your normal cooney cooney behavior big lugs that love pets belly rubs and uh enjoy being around people and usually we'll roll over there we go what do you think front leg oh there we go so anyway guys been getting super busy anytime we're processing is a super busy week so i wanted to bring you along a little bit so we could get a video for you this week we have been getting a ton of questions comments emails and we are doing our best to answer those um if you're one of the people waiting we've seen it and we are trying to get back to you it's just been crazy busy so we do appreciate the questions and comments and appreciate you guys following along check us out on instagram and facebook and don't forget to make the change